If you read the comments on my cold plunge videos, you'll see that not everyone likes the color chips. In fact, some people think they look like mold or bugs or they're just ugly. But then again, other people like the color chips. So if you're considering painting your cold plunge or even using color chips, let me offer you some advice. I've been experimenting with different ideas to create the ultimate cold plunge, and honestly, not everything works out the way that I thought it would. Originally, I was just planning to seal the seams of my freezer. For many of you, that's all you have to do. But I had some scrapes in the paint and was getting rust, so I started researching paint for water applications and found this Pond Shield paint. You can check the video description for links if you'd like to buy your own. It comes in small quantities and it's non-toxic. It's a two-part epoxy system, so you have to make sure to mix can A and B together for the paint to harden. And it took me two kits to adequately cover the cold plunge. It's also very slippery and slipping could be an issue when getting in and out of the cold plunge. When I painted my garage floor, I added these color chips. They give the floor an interesting look, help hide imperfections, and provide a little texture to prevent slipping. I had some left over and decided to sprinkle some on the floor of my freezer while the pond shield paint was still wet. Unfortunately, I was in a hurry and got some on the walls, and you can't wipe it off, so I decided I'll just go ahead and add it to the walls and just make the look uniform throughout. The color chips do work well for adding a little texture and they help prevent slipping. They also distract from the imperfections and drip marks in the paint, although I wasn't sure about the gray and black color. So I recently added another coat of Pond Shield paint and this time went crazy with blue color chips, especially on the bottom. I figured I might as well go for it. Leave me a comment about how you like the new look. This is a lot of texture, actually too much. At first the walls were pretty rough to lean against and I ended up sanding them down a bit. So here's my final advice. If you go with Pond Shield paint, adding a little texture and color to the floor is a good idea but you don't need a lot of it and you really don't need it on the walls. I think the chips with a blue color look the best. Something like this is probably ideal. Thanks for taking a moment out of your busy schedule to watch this video. Please share it with a friend. I'll be making another video soon to explain how I use smart plugs and a smart switch to control the freezer, the pump, the ozone generator, the lights, and the heat lamp in this room. I'll also keep you updated with additional modifications and we'll probably be building another cold plunge in the future, documenting every step. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Hands-On Meditation channel to learn more about meditation and healthy mindful practices.